But the story leads, former Deputy Defence Minister and one of the United Democratic Front's founders, Mluleki George, has passed away. George was also a founder member of the Congress of the People after breaking away from the ANC in 2008. So I want to get more reaction on the story. We joined telephonically by United Democratic Movement leader, General Bantu Holomisa. General, a very good morning to you. Deepest condolences to you as well. Uh, talk to us about your reaction when you first heard the news. My condolences uh, to his family and relatives. Uh, I have known him for many years. He played a major role in the transformation of uh, South Africa's rugby. Well, his role in the struggle is well documented, especially in the Eastern Cape and uh, in particular when UDF was established, United Democratic Front, which was working with the liberation movement. Uh, I would say, in a nutshell, he was an optimist. I guess that uh, that is why he opted out of the ANC when he was not happy and uh, formed cope with other leaders. Mm. Sadly, his leaders destroyed his dream because they were fighting at the time. May uh, his soul rest in peace. Uh, go well, brave man. Mm. Uh, General, you, you say he was an optimist. Uh, what do you think drove that optimism? Come again. You say he was an optimist. Uh, it's, I'm interested to know, mm. in, in terms of your interactions with him, uh, what drove that optimism? Well, remember that he was a leading light in the transformation of our rap in the 80s when nobody uh, was uh, expecting that inside of the country there would be a person like him who would stand up. You had also, uh, you, you, you witnessed his role also during the time the UTF was established. Mm. He was there to say, UTF, we cannot wait for other people who are outside to liberate us, but UTF must play a role in making sure that uh, you conscientize the people and that South Africans want the freedom, of better, uh, yeah, what, uh, better freedom. Mm. And uh, again, when he, when, uh, he was uh, establishing uh, his party uh, together with Lakota, he was openly boasting to say he's going back to parliament in his own terms. And uh, he did exactly that. Yeah. You spoke about his work uh, in, in rugby. Uh, I, I want to talk a bit more about that and, and the difference he made in sport in general here in South Africa. Well, the rugby, as you know, uh, he was working uh, closely with the uh, uh, latest uh, charters. Mm -hmm. Uh, before he left the country, and uh, when he came back from exile, Steve Chwete and Lulegi George linked up again, and uh, the Minister of Sport, uh, um, uh, Steve, uh, worked closely with, uh, with um, Lulegi to transform our rap in this country. Yeah. What you see today is as a result of their sweat. You know, I was talking to uh, Dennis Bloom earlier on, and towards the end of the conversation, he was talking about his, uh, Mr. George's sense of humor. Now, I just wanted to know your interactions with him and, you know, the, the, the person behind the persona, so to speak. Uh, talk to us about what would you miss the most? Well, there's no doubt that that was another strength of his. Uh, he had a, a good sense of humor. And uh, I was watching uh, at one stage uh, the Pulukwane conference on TV. I was watching it on TV. And uh, Lulegi George uh, was uh, mingling around some guys there uh, and uh, motivating them and cracking jokes that uh, the baby is going to win. Uh, everybody was surprised when. Uh, when, when he lost, because Lulegi George was so optimistic that uh, 
his camp was doing well in Pulugwana. Yeah. Uh, Gideon Leader, General Banto Holomisa, we thank you very much indeed for your time and your perspective on this. Be well. All right, uh, that was uh, UDM leader Bantu Holomisa there giving his take and his interactions uh, with regard to the late Mluleki George.